quiet moment, quiet me, quiet in the midst of all I see, a swirling, changing world, but I am still. Hello, UCE families. Welcome to the last week of this month's Soulful Home Packet on the theme of stillness. By now, you've probably had lots of fun celebrating some holidays this month. Advent will be winding down and over. Hanukkah will be over. Solstice is over. Um, if you see this on Christmas Day, Merry Christmas. Uh, chances are it will be after Christmas when you do. In which case, I hope you had a nice holiday. And for those of you who celebrate Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. That's this week as well. Lots of fun during December, huh? So this week's packet has just two short segments. Seeing as it's a holiday, I didn't want to overwhelm you. And the segments are at the bedside and a blessing. At the bedside is a story, of course. And this month's story is a short one that comes from the Zen tradition in China. And the story is being retold by a girl named Tara Brock. And it goes like this. Oh, I forgot to tell you the name of the story. It's so funny. It's called The Eight Winds and a Fart. Yes, you heard that correctly. Fart. Mm -hmm. So those of you who know how to do that noise under your armpit, this is a great story for you. I don't know how to do that. Otherwise, I would because it would be fun. So feel free to embellish the story when you retell it. The story goes like this. A student and a Zen master lived across the river from each other and often got together to discuss Buddhism. Well, one day the student, whose name was Su Dung Po, felt inspired and wrote a poem. The poem goes like this. I bow my head to the heaven within heaven, hairline rays illuminating the universe. The eight winds cannot move me, sitting still upon the purple lotus. So basically in this poem, he's saying that he has attained a very high level of spirituality. He, he's not bothered um, by the eight winds. He, he's impressed with himself, right? And he sends a servant to bring this poem to the Zen master across the river. And the Zen master, his name is Foyan. And when he reads the poem, Foyan immediately sees that Su Vong is, is declaring a spiritual refinement for himself, that he's boasting, basically, right? So smiling, the Zen master wrote the word fart on the manuscript and had it returned to Su Dong. Well, Su Dong Pui is there thinking he is pretty cool and expecting compliments from the master and then sees the word fart on the manuscript. Well, he gets very, very angry and upset. How dare he insult me like this? What a lousy old monk. He's got a lot of explaining to do. He gets his things together and indignant, he rushes out of his house and he orders a boat to carry him to the other side of the river so he can set the master straight. He wants an apology. Well, when he gets there, Foyan's door is closed and on the door is a piece of paper for Tzu Dongpo. And it says, the eight winds cannot move me. One fart blows me across the river. And that's the end of that story. 
So in the packet, there's some questions that you can ask and share with your children. I'll read a couple of them here. What could Sung Do Po have done instead of storming out and getting mad at the master? No? And which is better? Being in stillness or getting all riled up and worked up on something? Or do we need to have both in our lives? What is a way to get worked up but not hurt other people in the process? Or do something that we might regret later? We've all done something like that, I'm sure. So enjoy that story and your time together. And to end our month, we have our Blessing of Stillness, written by Teresa Honey Youngblood. She says, Stillness is a grace, coming not because we earned or deserved it, but simply as a gift, a pregnant pause, a blessed openness, a beckoning expanse. Whatever stillness grows in you, may it bless you with joy. Whatever stillness unlocks for you, may it bless you with wisdom. Wherever stillness takes you, may it lead to peace. In the stillness of this season, may we all gather what we will need for the struggles ahead, knowing that we wait together, we work together, and when the time comes, we celebrate together. Blessings of stillness to you, to yours, to all of us. Amen. Blessed be. Happy end to 2020. And here's hopes and prayers for 2021. Until next year. Have a wonderful week.